Hi guys, it's Joe here for Cookie Junkie, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the Zipline mod, which was originally by Binary Doodler as of Minecraft 1.7.3. However, it's thanks to Blue by Boogler, I think that's how we say it, I'm just sorry if I get your name wrong, that we have it here at Minecraft 1.2.5. This is currently a single player mod which introduces seven new items into the game six of which are craftable, the other is just placeable and by that what I mean is you can get leather and place it so yeah I will go through all the new items in detail once I've got to the crafting area so if you are kind of looking at this and just like what is going on all will be explained very soon but in order to get there I'm gonna have to take this zip line now to go down the zip line all you need is the zip line, the row, and the handlebar. Uh, again, I will go through how to craft it all and use it and stuff. Now, this is absolutely amazing. It's so realistic; it's unbelievable. Because you can, you can, you can go down it normally on a handlebar. However, they have added the the feature of walking down it, which makes you sway and possibly fall into well fall to your death certainly now when you do when you go down I seem to wobble less than I go up which I think is quite realistic to be honest well that was quite scary which is quite realistic to be honest and yeah it does get really scary to go down it normally though which is kind of like the main point of this all you need to do is get your handlebar right click on the zipline rope and there you go you can use the W and S key to control how fast, like if I press it now, I go proper fast. And I can go backwards and, yeah. If I face the other way and hold W down, I can actually go back up the same zip line. Now, I'm pretty sure you can't do this with really steep zip lines, as in like almost vertical, as you might imagine, it's fairly obvious to be honest. You don't need to press anything to go down though, it will, gravity will just take you down. Then when you get to the bottom, to get off, all you do is right click, and there you go. I should mention, you do lose your handlebar, which is a bit annoying, however it's not hard to craft, so it's not too much of a big deal. Alright guys, so before I go through the crafting, I'm just going to go through what items you actually get in this mod. I said before you get seven new items, and the seven new items are rope, rope bridge, cloth sheet, leather block, handlebar, zip line bow, and finally arrow with rope. The only one of these items which isn't craftable is the leather block, and that's simply because to get it all you've got to do is place leather down, like so. When you place leather down you can hit it back up and you get the leather block not the leather so once you've placed it you can't use it for armor or whatever again the same thing happens with cloth sheets and rope bridges uh, and the actual normal rope when you put it down it's it pretty much does acts the same way so if I wanted to like make a thing up a ramp up here all I would do is put two bits there and then one on top and then it would make a ramp so yeah you can do this with anything like my tent you saw my tent over there if you can't remember just go to the front of the video again and you'll see it I could have made that tent out of leather but I chose to make out of that uh, I could have even made it out of rope bridge if I'd have wanted to but I didn't really so yeah the the rope bridges are a bit hard to do if you're trying to make them across things as you kind of have to build a structure on which to place it all first and then once you've got it placed like a full bridge then you just delete the blocks underneath and that's pretty much how you do it so yeah okay so on to the crafting we'll start with the rope as that's the fundamental item for most of the other crafting things to craft it all you need is two bits of string so if I go to crafting table all you do is get one bit of, one bit of string and put it on top of another bit and you get one rope the good thing about this is 
the rope is backwards compatible. So if for some reason you need string, you just chuck that into the crafting table and you get both the bits of string back. You don't lose anything in this process. If you want to build a big zip line like mine, you will need a lot of rope. I built this with by putting dirt blocks down up in sort of a staircase formation all the way up to the top. Put the rope coming all the way down and and then I just took the dirt blocks away and it works. So yeah. With this rope, you can craft a rope bridge. To do that, you need some wooden planks. Any will do. It doesn't matter what colour they are or whatever. And some rope. What you do is put your wooden planks down the centre of the crafting grid, like so, the centre column. Then surround them by rope. For every uh, 9 by 9 grid that you put down, of these items, you'll get three rope bridges back, sir. So it works out pretty well. To craft a cloth sheet, what you need to do is get some wool. Again, it doesn't matter what colour it is, it'll always go white. Although, I wish they'd change that. So you could have, like, Magnetica coloured tents and stuff. That'd be pretty cool, I think. This is a really simple thing. All you've got to do is put a row of wool, like so. And for each three bits of wool you put in, you get three cloth sheets out. So it works out pretty well. We've already sort of really been through the level block and how to do that. Uh, the handlebar. Now this is a really easy one. All you need is three sticks for this. It uses the same formation that a bow does apart from it's been like rotated 90 degrees so if you just imagine a bow being like this and then the string goes down the side here all you do is forget about the string and then move the bottom one up like that so it's that sort of formation and you get a handlebar to craft probably my, the most exciting item in this uh, mod which is the zipline bow all you need to do is get some oops, get some sticks and some rope. Now, the crafting for this is pretty much exactly the same as a normal bow. All you do is put the sticks in the same formation and then replace what you'd put as string with the rope. Like so. And you have your zipline bow. To craft the uh, ammunition for it or the arrow with rope. All you need is some arrows and some rope, and you simply put the arrows in the middle of the top row, like so, and then just surround it by rope, like this, like so, and then all you do is fire your bow like you normally would. However, there is a bit of a problem with this. Currently, that will only get you eight blocks. Now, what is that really? You can't, you can't, what's the point of even going across the eight blocks? You could probably just jump it. So, why is it useful, you're probably asking. What, what, why is this going to help me? Well, the thing that you can do, which is really nice, is you can upgrade this. Now, I've got a chest here full of the upgrades that you can see. This here is the standard arrow with rope with no bar on it. As you can see, once you've upgraded it once, you get a small bar. You upgrade it again get this bar, you upgrade it, you upgrade it, you upgrade it, you upgrade it and then finally you have the the beast one which just like it goes for miles honestly. I tried it, I got it about fifty blocks and I was stood on the ground flat. So I think it was the arrow that actually limited how far that could go. It does go much further than that. So that is what you want to kind of get to. Now in order to upgrade it all you do is use the same formation on the grid as you did with the arrows. So you put the arrow with rope in the centre of the upper row and then surround it by rope like you did, sort of did before but with the arrow instead. And then you get your arrow with the rope which is upgraded as you can see cause of the bar. You can do this uh, seven times, seven times, yep. Seven times, you can just keep putting it in like that and put more rope in. So it gets better and then you put it again more up and you get the idea you just progress through the the levels of it
No, oh, come on. My zip line's been destroyed. I really need that to get over this inconveniently placed lava pit. Hmm. If only there was some sort of way I could shoot something across which would carry the zip line with it that I could then just get on and go. Hang on a second, I think there's exactly that. Yes, there is. All you need to do is get the arrow with rope, a zipline bow, and a handlebar. To do this, all you need to do is stand on the sort of a block which in line with the one you want to hit, as you can't go diagonally. It work. It just work well diagonally. Um. So yeah, just make sure you stood on the level block. The when you shoot it, it goes one block behind you. The rope. So you don't need that one block behind, but it's just like if this one got deleted for some reason, then you'd be safe. It wouldn't really matter. When you're aiming, also take into account the curvature of the arrow due to the gravity. So. For me, I want to hit that gold block. I'm not going to aim straight for it, as that will land like into the lava. What I'm going to actually have to do is aim up into this weird target on top of a tree. Which will get me the correct curve. Now, this just comes with practice, so you're just going to have to like figure out for yourself. Another thing to think about is the curve of the zip line, which I'll show you by going down it. As you can see, it curves at the bottom there. Be careful with this, as if there's like a tree fragment take there, you just kind of smash into the tree and that'd be it. Although it wouldn't really curve around like properly, you just sort of stop there. So careful of that, and you just honestly, it's just best to have a play with it and just see what you can do. For this mod, I would, I would give it a five out of five. It's absolutely fantastic. People are commenting on the forum page saying that they think like stuff like rope bridges should just be in the game by default. I agree with that. I think it's great, and the reason, the main reason, I think that this mod is so good is because it just complements the game really really well it's not like fragments at gun mods they're really good but the problem with them is they do change what minecraft is it's it's not the same with it people compare start comparing it and saying i don't know why they just sort of like oh it's too much like cod and battlefield and whatever and yeah i suppose they're sort of right but this this mod the zip line mod doesn't change what the game is. It makes it adds an extra fun element into it. All the stuff is craftable properly, and it all it all makes sense. It's all really logical. It's all really good. The uh, I think this should just be in the game. To be honest, I think this should just be normal Minecraft. You sort of feel like a bit of a ninja when you fire a rope across like this and get across somewhere safely. I I would love to see this on multiplayer. Actually, I think that'd be really good. As I like, care, uh, and especially if you live in a, do you know what? If you li if you made a house in a jungle, this would be such a good mod, because you could have all the rope bridges between them, and then zip lines down to the bottom and stuff. It's really good. There's there's absolutely there's nothing wrong with this mod at all. There's no I've been trying it now for ages, and there's just there's no bugs in it or anything. It all works fantastically. It's it's absolutely amazing. I really cannot fault it. Well done, guys, who made this. It's great. All the links to this one will be in the description. I'll I'll post the forum page, not a direct download link. I'll post the link to the forum page, so hopefully you'll comment on the guy and up it, because I, I really look, hate to see him not continue this mod, as it's, it's absolutely amazing. So you've, you've seen everything, you've seen the crafting, you've seen a brief sort of demonstration of it all. I really hope this video helps. Please can you like leave some comments below and stuff of what you think of it. 
I did spend ages doing this. It took me a while to like build everything and stuff. Yeah, it's not great, but what is, you know? And it's only like my fifth video, I think. Yeah, four, wait, fifth, fifth video. So I really appreciate your feedback, guys. And yeah, so this is the Zipmine mod. I hope you liked it. I'm just gonna go to my uh, mine and get some diamonds. <sighs> just get my pick up. Oh no! Oh, I'm trapped. Well, I have to cut this video here. Yeah, I'll uh, see you later, guys. I'm going to start digging my way out with my hand.